Hi, motor fans. I'm Carl Bauman, Vice President of R&D and Facilities for RCS Aerotech. And today, I'm going to show you how to load the new 5280 ohm motor. When you get your motor, you'll receive a epoxy bulkhead kit. The first thing you need to do is to make sure that you have 30 minute epoxy. The instructions. Epoxy to bond the forward bulkhead. You'll have an assortment of O-rings, a grain spacer, and the forward closure O-ring. You'll have a forward closure. And of course, the glue all max in which to bond the grains in. Also, there should be a stir stick and an igniter. Also, what's new with this motor is a single piece linerless casing. It, 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 essentially, it's as thick as both the liner and the fiberglass was on the original. This should uh, better contain the aggressive propellant that's used in this motor. So the first thing you want to do is to make sure that the, the motor's clean, that there's no damage to your nozzle in transit. And then I recommend taking a long stick, dampening some paper towels, go in and clean the dust. This also adds a little moisture which is conducive to the curing of the uh, Glue All Max or Gorilla Glue if uh, you're in the field and you, you need to use another glue. We provide a cap to essentially protect the threaded area from the excess glue from bonding the grains in. You want to have a really clean surface so this protects it. I recommend taping it Got to be smarter than the tape. This just prevents it from moving. This also will come with the kit, so you won't have to be searching for something like that. The first thing you want to do is look at your grains. You're going to have three sets of two. They're marked A, B, C. We'll start with the A grains. The first thing you want to do is, is the best thing is to have a second person assisting you. So while you're getting ready to push the grains into the motor, he can mix the epoxy. First thing you want to do is mix some 30 minute epoxy. And I recommend having three little containers because you want to do a fresh mix each time you bond the two grains together, or the, yeah, the two grains together in set to three. You'll notice that they're pre epoxy they're inhibited, but you're merely gluing them together to ensure the inhibited stays. While he's going up the second one, I'm going to apply the glue all match to the grain. 
Fairly messy job, so have plenty of napkins around. I'm going to put the forward end of the grain, which uh, is, is not inhibited, in first. Go ahead and set up another 30 minute. Again, the part marked A, the inhibited end, goes forward. You want to immediately push the grains all the way forward. Make sure they're seated. Then you start on the B grain. I recommend mixing a fresh batch of epoxy each time. You don't want it to go off on you when you're trying to do motor. Take one of your grain spacer o rings. B grain. Again, noting your inhibited end will face forward and your uninhibited gray end goes in the, the motor. It's probably best to just kind of get the O rig started inside here. Third set of epoxy going for your C grain. Again, note your inhibited end goes forward. You may get a little epoxy inside, but it will not hurt the motor. Again, you want the uninhibited end facing forward. Push it in. Place your second brain space or ring inside the casing. Easier said than done. This time the uninhibited grain will go forward. So essentially you're putting A to A, B to B, and C to C. quickly, but not rush it. 
depending on conditions, your room can set up quicker than it would on a different day, different temperatures. Okay, you place your last o ring. doesn't get bonded, so you see it's not inhibited on either end. Okay, I recommend clean. Changing gloves for this procedure. We're going to resume the, uh, the assembly of the O motor, and while I'm at it, I'm going to introduce Kyle. He's my uh, special projects intern, and has been very helpful this year, and hopefully he uh, remains helpful. <laughs> As you notice inside, you can see that the glue all max is foaming up. I would just take some acetone and wipe that foam prior just so you don't drag it onto the threads. Now we're going to remove the tape that we have the special gluing piece. I'll pull it out and you can see that there is some sweating that does occur. You can take some uh, Oh, it's okay. Yeah, that's good. Okay. Now we're going to stand the motor up vertical to bring it around here. And be careful that you don't drop it and uh, damage the nozzle. So what we're going to do here is put it up against something to support it and then tape it to whatever you choose to uh, attach it to. Okay, I'm going to have Kyle now mix up the epoxy that we supply in specially marked bottles. It's essentially been metered out for you. You just add B to A and mix thoroughly. While well, he's mixing that, I'm going to insert the forward closure into the forward end of the motor. Typically, we will have this O-ring pre-greased, so you just kind of try to center it and then work it down into the, closure, the motor. You want to make sure that this end is slightly below the end of the casing. Then take the uh, thick O-ring that was supplied with your kit. And you want to push it down into the cavity. There's like a slot between the casing and the closure. The O-ring essentially prevents the epoxy from leaking down past the closure. If you have a situation where after it cures, it's a little low, you can take a, a good quality epoxy such as West System Slow or Aero Epoxy and top it off. But if you get the O-ring properly seated, you shouldn't have any leakage.
I go around several times making sure that it positions itself correctly. You can see as you go around, there's some, you'll see light bumps. You just press those down in there. After it's fully seated, then you pour the epoxy. Just pour it in until you see surface tension holding it. It will settle sometimes and eventually you can take a stick and, and, and move some of it so it captures the closure. It's not really necessary. It's more of aesthetics. Now you let it cure overnight, and that completes the assembly of the O5280. Are they out of the way? I hope. Yeah, they're out of the way. Three, two. That was the best, that was the best.